as we speak, we have close to 1,100 fires in Northern California. Greece just experienced an earthquake, and India just experienced an earthquake. So it's an endless number of natural disasters that we're facing. What this company wants to show the world is how to have a successful disaster relief. My name is James Pope and I am the CEO of Green Horizons. We're doing a, a, a panelized home system that is modular. It's completely self-contained. The entire home can be set up in less than an hour. It's a humanitarian uh, outreach, not just the, the, the victims, but the disaster relief people themselves, that they have a, a, a home that they can live in while they're helping other people, and that they have all the services available to them to be able to do that and do it quickly. We have several different models that uh, work together in a hub system. We call it a central hub and it, we, it includes an administration center. You just walk in, you turn the computer on and they're up and running. The communication center has a satellite system that provides the cable, phone and TV for 250 units. This hub includes um, two community centers. We also have a first aid light surgery center uh, which has four operating rooms or uh, medical rooms uh, and next to that we have two bunk houses. We also have a water purification and storage uh, unit that can uh, purify up to 10,000 gallons a day and a storage facility for additional food and additional blankets, additional clothing. This is our, one of the models that we've um, chosen to build and this is our single family home and it's designed to be delivered on a flatbed truck or put in a shipping container and shipped overseas. The deployment of the system is very, very easy. You can level the, um, the entire unit in a matter of minutes. We carry uh, 320 gallons of water that is embedded in the floors. Clothing and food inside the unit. So we have at least two weeks where a person can live in the unit without being connected to a grid system or, or a sewer system of any kind. It's designed to be built quickly and it's also designed to be reconditioned quickly. So therefore, any panel that is destroyed, we can pull that panel out and put a new panel in in a few minutes. The bathroom is a complete molded unit. We can, if they tear up or destroy the bathroom completely, we pull the bathroom out, put a new bathroom in. The kitchen's the same way. The water tanks are the same way. Everything is, is components, and the components can be moved in and out. It's completely different than anything that's ever built. It's very revolutionary in its design. Revolutionary in its design of how it's made, how it's deployed, revolutionary in how the unit functions with other units as well. The um, way the unit folds apart is unique. You turn a switch and the unit moves itself out. And there's very little to do in the side of the unit to make it ready. The way the, the uh, decks and the railings work is unique. The decks fold down. The tanks uh, fitting in the floorboards is unique. The toilet burning the waste is unique. There's no waste except for the gray water. We have 160 gallons of gray water. The way the unit levels itself is unique. You can put it on asphalt, you can put it on uh, rock, you can put it on gravel. The legs are cranked down by hand. It takes about less than a minute to crank these down and then they're deployed on cement block piers which have a special cross anchoring system that allows for uh, wind resistance. The way that this can be connected electrically with other units and form a, a system of uh, charging uh, is unique. We've chosen to have a battery system that runs the entire 110 voltage through the entire unit. Uh, now, we have the solar panel array that will recharge uh, with a 50% um, sunlight exposure, it should charge the batteries in less than two hours. We have a generator, a tri-fuel generator, that, that will also charge the battery system back up. You can plug the unit into the grid system and also charge the batteries through the grid system itself. The 
skeleton, the bones of the system are absolutely what I would consider to be as efficient as you can possibly make it. This particular frame has the flexibility to be able to be augmented or can be lifted in a fairly easy manner and there is a very small learning curve for anyone to be able to assemble a product of this nature. The beauty of the frame itself makes everything work. The steel frame and the aluminum uh, frame uh, combined with each other makes a product that is maintenance free and easy to build. We call it a snap and go system where all the uh, panels, the floors, everything just snaps in place. Our goal and our vision is to have thousands of these homes in containers waiting so that uh, they can be deployed within a moment's notice. The 40 high cube can be used in any port in the, in the world. So we're able to be able to manufacture these, put them in containers, and let them set for, for years if necessary, you know, and be pulled out when there is a disaster that happens in that area. We don't have to connect to a sewer system. We don't have to connect to a water system. This is a fully self-contained unit. So we've eliminated a lot of the problems that FEMA has had or other agencies have had uh, in the past. James has been building for a long time, so you develop a, a sense of what works and what doesn't. He's uh, come up with a product that uh, uniquely combines the best of other products as well as some of his own creative thoughts.